For those of you that know shapes, what shape is this? Oh, and offhand, uh, what is this? Oh, is that a shape or what? Okay, how many, uh, how many sides on this? Four. You want to try that again? Oh, I forgot that's what that was. Okay. One, two, three. So how many triangles do we have? Wow. Yeah, but how many sides has it got? Three. Okay. Three sides, three corners, except this one, so that if the sound will work, they took that corner off. Sorry. Okay. This is a triangle. You know what I know it as? A dinner bell. Okay. Well, today, have you ever seen this symbol around anywhere else? Where? On what? Caution signs, like this one, yeah, okay, yield, things like that. How about in church? Did you see anything like this in the bulletin today? Huh? Is it up there? On that banner? Okay, yeah, you get the idea of triangle, they're stacked on top of each other. Let's see, I think I have some, whoop, there are not any triangles on those three. Yeah, in the back, see on the back of the bulletin? The little triangle on that. Well, you know, you understand a triangle, but the triangle is one of the symbols that we have for God. Do you know what? How many gods do we have? One. Like we have one triangle. But how many persons are there in God? And who are the three persons? Father. Son and Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Now, does that mean that we've got three gods or one God? One. That's exactly right. Does that mean we have three fathers? How many fathers? How many Jesus Christ? How many Holy Spirit? Yeah. But how many gods? Well, that's you guys got that down pretty good. All right? Don't confuse yourself after the creed. After the, after the sermon today, we're going to use a real long, everybody's going to sit down for this one, long creed, because it, uh, it starts off with a long name called the Athanasian Creed. And, and uh, what it talks about is God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Except that it says that, you know, we can't understand God the Father, He's incomprehensible. That's a big word, isn't it? We can't comprehend. We can't understand God. He's incomprehensible. Ben, the Son is incomprehensible. And the Holy Ghost is incomprehensible. And you know what it says? So how many incomprehensibles do we have? Aha! See, you fell into that. But we only have one incomprehensible. What's incomprehensible? God. Yeah. See? Which means that we can't understand everything about God. Can we? No. And that's what the creed goes in. It not only talks about incomprehensibles, it talks about being eternal, and there's only one eternal. It talks about other things too. So as you, if you can read along and follow along with it, it's some big church words. But they're all very, very important. And so as you grow up and get the confirmation class and beyond, you can study and find out what those words mean. And then you can really wow people and say, oh, that's incomprehensible. Where did you get that word? Oh, from the Athanasian Creed. The what? I think you're... Never mind. <laughs> okay. But uh, we're going to sing about that. In the hymn that we're going to sing in a minute, it starts out, maybe you, maybe you remember this hymn, it goes, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. Well, you'll learn this one because this is one that we know. Yeah, yeah. And it says, holy, holy, holy. That's holy the Father, 
Holy the Son, Holy the Holy Spirit. But how many holies do we have? One. That you're getting the idea, okay? 